Doctor, let's go ahead and talk about some activator documentation for this patient. If we look under the subjective findings, we can see that at today's date, Mr. Test patient has neck pain as a one with some stiffness, not going into his shoulders, and his low back pain is a one. And I'll go ahead and say that it's not going into his low back also, um, non-radiating to the lumbar spine. From here, as a non-activator practitioner, I did the Deerfield leg checks and the cervical syndrome. Now, if I looked under my visual range of motion on the top, the third row, first column, I can go visual range of motion, and in the second row, first column, I can say for cervical rotation only pre-adjustment, that his pre-adjustment status for today has mild restriction going to the right with rotation, mild restrictions going to the left, and he has pain going to the right and the left, and I would like to see an increased range of motion for his visit. And then afterwards, I would do his post adjustment, going the one below that, the second row, second column down, uh, saying that afterwards he had no restriction to the right or the left. He had uh, pain going to the right, um, but again, our goal was met for the range of motion. So we didn't meet our goals uh, for range of motion. So that's how I would do my pre and post adjustment for range of motion uh, beyond my leg checks. But if I go under my Deerfield syndromes, I also would have, let's say, a Trendelenburg type of patient where I would say that I'm adjusting them and they are, have a positive Trendelenburg on the left. And I would like to see that improve with today's care. And then after the adjustment, I would go to the second row, second column down, and saying that after the adjustment, the Trendelenburg was negative bilaterally and we met our goals. So there's another example how a goal could be met. I have all these columns left over that are blank that I could add any activator type of style regarding right hand over your head, left hand over your head, both hands behind the back. Honestly, I don't remember what those leg checks are, but if you could send me a list of the pre-adjustment leg checks or arm checks or hand checks or however you do that for activator, I can have under this adjustment for your pre-adjustment assessment for the third row, third column down, as part of your objective findings, an entire activator protocol for you. I just need to know this means this, this means this, what the tests are called, and what are positive and negative signs for whether, it, you know, right arm above the head was negative for T5. Again, I'm going back guessing from college back in the 90s. Um, but I will show you for my adjustments. When I do do the adjustments, I did the adjustments on him with the heat. I put heat over his low back. I did activator right of C1, uh, left of C5. Uh, and I did um, L4, L5, and then the right pelvis. Uh, again, I could also put down, I did the activator at 50% adjustments uh, for my adjustment, 50% uh, force, 25% uh, force uh, to the left side. Uh, but again, if there's other methods or other positions where you have your activator in different manners, I would just need to know what other ways of documentation of an adjustment you would have when you use the activator for a specific patient, and those would be another button here that I would add to the macro regarding activator protocols. So for you, I would recommend, is, is there anything as far as the adjustments that you would need differently as far as a button to go here that I could design, and is there anything for the uh, objective findings that we could add to your pre-adjustments that would give you activator indicating uh, steps and I'd be happy to work that into either my macro and have you work with my whole macro or give you a portion of it and build it and charge you much less for just the activator portion and then you incorporate it into whatever macro you're using uh, with ChiroTouch. So I'm going to put this into a video and send it to you as a link on YouTube. If this helps you, great. Give me a message back uh, and we can go from there. Thank you again. Bye.